And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Oscar, you're so cute. How can you not have the best day ever? with a little Oscar Marshmallow in your life. Now we just got back from Sun Valley, Idaho, Bugatti Vera on Top Street. If you guys have not seen the video, if you did not see my last upload, you gotta pause this video right now and you gotta go watch it because this morning we're gonna be talking conspiracy theories. And if you haven't seen the video, you're not gonna understand my theory. So also the Lamborghini Urus sounds like a dying lawnmower, but after today, I don't think so. We're back, baby. We're back. I'm gonna attempt to cold start the Lamborghini Urus, but we got we got tractor heaven over there, so I don't know if you guys are gonna hear it because it really doesn't sound very good. My voice is squeaking. I'm making fun of the Lamborghini and my voice is squeaking. The irony, a casual cold startup on a 2019 Urus. If you listen ever so closely, you can kind of hear some baby crackles. Listen, listen. Okay, there's there's no crackle. Ooh, baby. Sounds Average. It's average, but it's a Lamborghini, a Lamborghini. This is a factory exhaust. It's not terrible. It's pretty bad though. So this morning is a logistical nightmare. We dropped off the Urus. We gotta let the exhaust cool down. Casey's gonna head over to the warehouse to start the install. The Veyron is going head back from Idaho. John's gonna be at the house in the truck in about 25 minutes. And yes, I realize the irony is there. I was complaining about the Urus exhaust and now we're driving a tire squealing balloon, an obtuse, an obtuse balloon of sort, a jelly bean, a jelly belly. Before all the Tesla fanboys get triggered, I like Tesla's butt. The shape is somewhat of an obtuse balloon, like it really is. I bought this car, I like this car, I enjoy this car. That being said, I am selling it, and if somebody wants to buy it, make me a competitive offer. Also, yes, briefly in the last video, I said we got the NASCAR started, and that is true. We might cold start it today, we might not. I'm not entirely sure, but... Oscar's excited, yeah, but I'm probably way too excited about this. The box of the exhaust for my Lamborghini Aventador Roadster came in from FI Exhaust doubles as the perfect coffee table. Let me explain. I know you're doubting. First off, it's a beautiful piece of furniture. It's the only piece of furniture that I own, and the height is actual perfection. Now, the couch I'm sitting on, this is on temporary loan from Burlacker. So like I said, it's the only piece of furniture that I own. Now, the exhaust for the Urus, this box, proportionally, it's not a coffee table but what can we use it for? Let me know. The best mods I've ever done to any cars in my life are the FI exhaust on my Lamborghini Aventador, and now the Lamborghini Taurus. That was really violent and very unproductive. So, my coffee table, as we know, Oscar, my coffee table is being destroyed. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. FI has so many different cool exhaust tip options, but I feel like on the Urus, we had to do something a little bit more sinister. It's wrapped in matte carbon fiber. That is so fresh. Not only do we have their full exhaust system, we also have the downpipes for the Urus, the new ones wrapped in gold ceramic. Oscar, look, what? That is so cool. Oscar, Oscar Marshall. I love you. And just like that, on time, every time. So John, real quick, quick question for you. How does it feel to transport the slowest Bugatti, not the slowest Bugatti, the owner of the slowest, no wait. <laughs> the slowest driver of a Bugatti in the world. Come on, wasn't the, on the weekend, okay? On the weekend. Yeah, it's just one time. Usually speaking English for me isn't that hard, but I was trying to say, the driver of a Bugatti just happens to be the slowest driver of a Bu Wow, I really cannot talk. You know what I'm trying to say. You know, you get it, you get it. What I'm trying to say, it wasn't the car, it was the drive. It was the baby calves, that's what it was. I was pushing down on that gas pedal as hard as I could, but uh, you know, I got chicken legs. This trailer is like the ultimate echo chamber. Now a couple things we did discover in Sun Valley, unfortunately, and I found this out after the fact, we were not running at the full 1,001 horsepower. We were running at 850. I know, I know, trust, I had it tuned. Like, I had it tuned to 1,001, but for some reason, the car was racing in a limp mode. Now, if you look at the horsepower gauge, you can see it's tuned to 1,001. Now, during the top speed run, I noticed on the GoPro footage, it was only going up to 850, even though it was tuned to 1,001. I'm about to spoil Sun Valley, so this is your final warning. If you have not seen that video and you still wanna go see it, pause this video, head on over there, maybe smash the like button, and then come on back. Okay, we're good. You paused the video, you went there, you went back. Okay, we're good. So during Sun Valley, I ran the Bugatti Veyron speedometer indicated 213 miles per hour. Now the Sun Valley equipment, they had the trap speed 191. So speedometer 213, trap speed 191. Obviously that discrepancy is 22 miles per hour. Now is the Veyron speedometer off that much? 
I don't think we'll ever fully know. Now, during the run, the car did disengage top speed mode. The wing raised up, acted like a parachute. I'd reckon that maybe cost me 10 miles an hour. Now, of course, the big kicker, the car was only running at 850 horsepower, but the worst part about it, I didn't even know. Like, I didn't even realize it until I was back here in Utah. I was editing the vlog, and I saw the horsepower gauge only going up to 850. I didn't, I didn't even know. That must have cost me like 10, 15, 20 miles per hour. Now, why the car was doing that, I don't know. I had it dialed up, I had it tuned to 1,000 horsepower. We had the 100 octane race fuel. The only thought the car did buckle there on the freeway the day before. I'm assuming that triggered some form of a limp mode and the car was only gonna run at 850. Now, did we go 191 or did we go 213 as the speedometer indicated? I don't think we're ever, ever gonna know. And on that bombshell, boys, on that bombshell, I am excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by Skillshare. So I've worked with Skillshare a lot in the past and it's one of my favorite online resources. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative people just like you guys. Maybe there's a new skill you wanna learn or you wanna develop an existing skill. Maybe you wanna start a YouTube channel. They have courses in cinematography. They have courses in YouTube 101. I actually took their tutorial class on Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I used to edit all of my YouTube videos and it's taught me everything I want to know. Maybe you want to start your own business or you want to get into marketing. They have courses in entrepreneurship. One of my favorite parts about Skillshare, it's truly curated for learning. There's no advertisements and they're always adding new premium courses. Under film and video, if we scroll on down, there's so many different courses to take. Adobe Premiere Pro for beginners, that's the course that I was telling you about that I took. It's a great tutorial if you want to get started on YouTube. And then right next to it, MKBHD, one of my favorite YouTubers who does tech reviews, he has a course on YouTube success. And check this out, Skillshare is hooking up the Strad fam. The first 1,000 of you guys to click on the link below are gonna get a one month free trial to Skillshare. Now that 1,000 is gonna go fast, so click on it before it's gone because when it's gone, it's gone. The first 1,000, check out the link below, join Skillshare today and start exploring your creativity. Well guys, we might have the most exciting news we've ever heard in the entire history of the channel. <laughs> Casey sweats, he sweats ladies and gentlemen, he does sweat. Barely. He's been doing acupuncture, Barely. and there might be just a minuscule parcel of sweat. See the sweat on the forehead. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm almost a normal human. Also, this under tray, guys, it's like actual carbon fiber. Well done, Lamborghini. We just fully unwrapped the FI exhaust. This exhaust kit is so sick. I love the gold ceramic downpipes, but then all the chrome. I'm telling you guys, like. Chrome is back, the donk, the chrome also, Stefan. Stefan, 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 that's gonna impale one of us. Like, come on, bro, it's not safe. Look at this man's extension set, that is unbelievable. Don't sweat, bro, don't get any sweat in your eye. Yeah, yeah. This is why Casey's so efficient. He never sweats, but now he does. Because we don't have the DeWalt. The wow, bow stitch is good, brand. That's a nice brand. Is it? This guy's a DeWalt guy, is a DeWalt it? snob. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Right no fit. big deal, baby. No Smooth deal. as butter. Cradle that like a baby. That's expensive, Casey. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! whoa. That's just Stefan's wheel. I'm gonna stop the baby. It's just Stefan's wheel. It's no big deal. Thanks, Steffi. Oh, These down pipes right here are like some oh. bohemian beefcakes. Look at those. Yeah. Goodness. The size of my wrist? The size of your wrist. Hey, hey, hey. wow. Meant... That was uncalled for. Our wrists are like the same size. They truly they Look really at that. are. It's just the forearms and the biceps and the calves. Come on, boys. Stop making fun of them. Oh, it burns! It burns! I'm just kidding. It's easy. It's no big deal. You want to talk about bohemian beefcake? Check this out. And you guys think I don't do anything. If I drop this. Yeah, Look right. at those. Those are so sick. The matte carbon fiber exhaust tips. Can you do that again a little bit louder? Ooh. I can't really whistle that well, so. He doesn't sweat and he can't whistle. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty sure he's a machine. Well, boys, the moment we all have been waiting for, the cold startup on the FI Exhaust Lamborghini Urus. A special announcement. Today is a special day. Casey Draper, ladies and gentlemen, in the house. It's his birthday, 31, yeah. baby. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday to you. Okay, I feel awkward, <laughs> but I would sing Appreciate it. it. Off camera, I'll sing it. You guys are never, ever gonna guess what happened. The exhaust is done, we're ready to leave, and the garage door won't open. Like, we're stuck. We're hostage. <laughs> are you kidding me? Like, really? Is this really happy? Is this real life? Checked all the breaker panels. We're, we're good. Like, I don't know what the issue is. It, we're stuck. Come on, baby. It's Casey's birthday. He's got, oh, oh. We're good! And to think you doubted me. Anytime, Casey. Birthday boy. Start the <laughs> No way! That is so loud! Oh my gosh! It sounds like a camp D8! 
Baby ears, I gotta check the baby ears. Let's hear it, Chase! Let's hear it! Oh, oh, oh. That is not average no more, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. I don't think we've had a vehicle change this much with an exhaust. It is so loud. I wish you guys could hear it in person. <laughs> I'm getting the devious laugh. We're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I, I can't help myself. I'm a nine year old, mentally. In actuality, I'm much older than that. <laughs> I love just like peppering the throttle and then letting off. <laughs> I'm so sure my voice is squeaking through in my uh, adolescence. We used to get 12 miles to the gallon. Now I think we get eight. So obviously we're in Corsa mode. As I let off, obviously quite loud, we're gonna pop it into Strata mode. The valves are closed, the neighbors are happy. It's so cool because the FI system, you can actually hook it up to the factory valve tronic. So we're here in Strata mode, we're in park. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner, right? Now we're gonna pop it into Corsa mode. Valves open up, neighbors aren't pleased. <laughs> We, uh, we need to shut this off. How do we do this? Yep. We gotta get lost. How do we get, how do we drive this thing? We gotta get lost. We're gonna get a lot of trouble in this thing. Go. <laughs> We're gonna pop it into strata mode. <laughs> this is for the executives at Adobe, and go. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys, like, oh, frequency intelligence exhaust. If you have a Urus, get an FI exhaust. I don't think we have anything else. I think today's video's over. I, I don't think we have anything left. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button. Wait, is that a cop?